All right, so what we are going to be making is a cylinder. This is a straight up and down form um, from a lump of clay. So I've already taken um, the liberty to center and open, which is what you've already done with bowl, the bowl series. So now we're on the second series and we're gonna start with um, cylinders. So we've already centered and open. All right, so this is where it starts to get different. So I have my opening. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to now open underneath to create the bottom of my cylinder. All right, so I have to open underneath so I, because I don't want the bottom to be thick, I want it to be thin. I'm gonna compress, remember we always compress. After we touch the clay, we always compress using our sponge. All right, so now what I have is, I keep the, the top narrow, and then the bottom is wider underneath. So this is narrow and this is wide. We don't want, we don't want it to go out, we want it to go narrow, all right? We want it to go up, all right? So different from the bowl series, instead of pushing out, we are going to push in with our right hand, okay? All the pressure comes from the outside, from the right hand here. All right, I'm gonna push in this way, and that causes the clay to go up, all right? So I'm going to brace with my left hand on the inside here, my fingers on the inside, and then I'm gonna take these fingers. Notice I'm right across, I'm pushing directly through the clay here. We don't wanna be like this. We wanna be right across from each other. Your hands always work together. Notice I'm touching with my thumbs. I'm gonna gather the clay down at the bottom. Pressure's here. I'm gonna push in. And then as I push in, and move my hand up, that causes the clay to go up. Now as I, I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna push hard, but as I go up through, my pressure gets less as I get to the top. If, you, if you're pressing hard, all the way through, you're gonna torque it or you're gonna rip this off. You're gonna rip the top off or you're gonna, you never wanna come all the way through the lip. I'm gonna stop about right here with my pressure. Leave this lip intact, okay? So you're gonna end up with this kind of like nuclear power plant look, okay? That's normal. So that's my first pull. Second pull, I'm gonna gather, okay, see this? that I've made down here, this gather. Now I'm gonna bring that, that up, pushing in with my right hand, all the pressures with my right hand. My left hand is just a brace. And that makes the clay go up. Now, as I get to the top, my, my hands are releasing. I'm releasing as I get to the top. Notice it's, it's still spinning. I don't stop it. I don't stop the, the wheel. I leave it spinning. And what I'm doing is I compress every time, every time I touch, I'm gonna to compress, I'm gonna clean it up, compress. If I can get my hand down inside, I'm gonna compress. Don't worry about it making it um, oblong like that. It's not gonna hurt it. So our goal is three poles. Remember, always three poles. So that was two. Get my hand down inside, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna gather again. If I can touch, my thumbs always wanna to touch. I'm gonna to gather. And work the clay up. All right. Compress. And compress. 
And what I'm doing at the top is I, 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 I'm not pinching, I'm just grabbing and compressing here lightly with my, my sponge here. All right, so once I get the height and the evenness, it's not super even here, you can see in the side, it's not even. So what I'm gonna do is once I, once I do my three poles, I'm gonna use my wooden rib and get my hand down in there and I'm gonna straighten this guy like this. Use that as a, a straight edge. And that will straighten the cylinder up. So now we have a nice, even, straight cylinder. I like to even this lip up at the end because if I was gonna make this into a mug or something like that, I wanna have this, um, think about functionality. All right, pointy stick tool. I'm gonna cut this bottom. And then needle tool to get rid of this extra clay. We don't need that when we're going to trim. There you go, we have a cylinder. It's not exactly the same, but the form is very similar.